Hey, what's up guys? Mr. Free Coiner coming back to you again today. Hope everyone's doing well and you are taking care of yourselves. Okay, so obviously guys, as we see here, the price is up a bit, almost 6%. Um, not a whole lot, but guys, anything as far as I'm concerned, positive is definitely welcome. So, you know, the whole market has kind of turned green, but I'm still, I'm still going to kind of hold out uh, on the hopium for now. We'll just see how this all turns out. To be honest with you, I don't think that uh, this is necessarily going to lead to anything uh, really significant, if, if anything, anything more uh, positive at all. But we'll see. I, I do believe later on in the year, if we are going to see anything, it will be then. Uh, but again, we will see how everything goes. Okay, so starting off, uh, Ripple expands European operations to Iceland. It says here's what a way to start off a week. Ripple expands European operations into Iceland. Ripple posted a Ripple Insight article this morning titled Ripple Continues Acquisition Streak Expands European Operations to Iceland. And, um, you know, guys, this is <laughs> this is one of the reasons why if they're going out and they're uh, acquiring these different companies now yes this is already this is something that was spoken about already but um you know it's very important to understand why and you guys i'm sure know this why the claim or what bit lord and you know what he was trying to do really makes no sense because obviously uh ripple needs that that xrp to actually fund its expansion and yes it really kind of sucks that the price is not going up we're not mooning right now but i think these acquisitions these these uh, uh uh strategic moves that ripple is actually making will cause the price to do what it needs to do um when that's going to happen guys honestly i hope it's this year i really really do um i i i think there are several things and i'm going to talk about this uh there's there there are a few things that um really kind of requires that the price goes up but then again you know this this <laughs> nothing makes sense in this market but either way uh this is the uh algram company that they uh, actually bought and uh, uh without a doubt this is excellent information excellent news rather so uh here it says just last week we got news ripple news of ripple acquiring logos and adding eight engineers to the x spring team I mean, Ripple is moving along just the way they should. So I think uh, we just need to be understanding and and kind of patient here. Uh, believe me, it, it like I said, it really sucks. I would love to see things at that ten dollar level. Uh, whatever it, you know, anything positive would be uh, good. Even a dollar. I mean, geez, uh, something positive. But anyway, let's go ahead and move on. So one of the topics of today that uh, was really, really big is this, this whole um, rating system that uh, was kind of created by the, by here it is, Coinbase, Kraken and others develop a system to rate cryptocurrencies and the likelihood they are securities. You guys, this is, all this is, is fun. Now I'm going to show you this right here. Now from Panda Ripple XRP, definitely a shout out to him. Uh, he uh, provides this FUD alert, and this is all related to what I was just showing you, guys. It doesn't matter. These companies do not have any connection with the uh, SEC, or as it says here, it is clearly stated in their fact FAQ that uh, the SEC, CFTC, or any other regulator have endorsed. Um, the council's methodology or rating says it, um, it, it it's I'm sure it's supposed to say not it says here the SEC is not involved in the council's work uh, so <clears throat> so anyway it, their rating is about as important as a fart in the wind just to be honest with you so hey just totally disregard there this is just fud this is just a way to get people kind of riled up and you know uh, instill that doubt. And that's all this is at this point. XRP is the future. Ripple is the future. It's happening. Don't get deterred from that. I know even myself, I've gotten very frustrated with the fact that the price is not going anywhere. 
but we just have to maintain no matter what. Um, sometimes the pain has to come before you get to the joy. So um, anyway, let's go ahead and move on. All right. So Ripple plans on merging XVIA, XRapid, and XCurrent into one solution convergence. So this right here is, uh, um, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think there's something uh, like this was talked about uh, in the past. Uh, since all of this started happening, I think towards the end of 20 or the beginning of 2018. But again, I'm, I'm not quite sure. I'd have to go back and kind of look at things. But either way, um, it says, I'll just go ahead and read this first paragraph. Ripple, the company behind the third most valuable cryptocurrency, XRP, plans on merging their three main products, XVIA, XCurrent, and XRapid, into one convenient solution called Convergence. According to Jim uh, Chauncey Kelly, the director of talent acquisition at Ripple. Technically, XVIA is not a network solution, but rather an API solution that allows for communication during cross-border settlement with XRP at center stage. Now, another important part uh, of this is, uh, where is it? Here. You, you can see that the language on Ripple's site has actually changed. Um, it's uh, it's more talking about on-demand liquidity. Um, what is that? Instant payments. You know, yeah. Uh, avoid pre-funding with instant settlement. You know, uh, here again, MoneyGram harnesses Ripple on-demand liquidity to power cross-border transactions. Uh, you know, like I said, the language has, has changed a little bit. It looks like um, Ripple's kind of refocusing to uh, get things going. Uh, and to be honest with you, I have no problem with that. If this actually gets us to the to our goal or where we want to be faster, I am all for it. Now, I do know someone was telling me that uh, Alex Cobb went into this a bit more. You might want to go and check him out. Actually, I have not. I, I do plan on actually going to listen to what he had to say. But all in all, guys, um, definitely a lot going on. I I I just, you know, I, I just feel that uh, kind of Ripple understands that we are, we do exist. OK, no, they don't have any um, uh, they don't have any type of. Uh, um, obligation to us. But again, like I said, I think they are definitely acknowledging the fact that we do exist. So. We'll see what happens. Hopefully um, we'll start to see some positive things sometime uh, towards, you know, as this the rest of this year kind of comes to a close or, you know, just within this uh, fourth quarter. OK, so uh, let's go ahead and go into this right here. So Mark Cuban has said that when he was asked about uh, Bitcoin, he said he'd rather have bananas. Now, reading this article. I, I got the I kind of got the um, feeling that the understanding of uh, Bitcoin being a store of value, right? It's it's really kind of uh, it, it almost seems like they're trying to push it towards uh, the the understanding towards not being important, right? Because Bitcoin itself. It, it is, again, it is the first mover. I do believe that it was initially an experiment that uh, a three-letter agency kind of put out there to see how, would we, how we would react. And uh, it might have worked a little bit better than they realized, which has caused Bitcoin to go, a, you know, a bit longer uh, than they were really expecting. Bitcoin is, uh, to be honest with you, it is quite um a uh a devolution okay of the technology right because it is extremely slow all of the fixes that they're trying to implement it's just it's just not working and to be honest with you guys i don't think it's going to make a difference with bitcoin i mean you know it's kind of like trying to uh put a put an engine on a bicycle right there's there's a point where there is a uh, uh, an area where it will increase the 
uh, abilities of it, right? But the problem is, is that you're just working on diminishing gains, right? It's just as as the speed goes up, just using that analogy, as the speed goes up, the actual frame itself, the bike frame cannot can only handle so much speed, right? You would have to go to a different uh, architecture to actually take advantage of the the full power of the engine uh, or bigger engines or anything like that. I mean, I hope that analogy really kind of fits. But either way, uh, that's I, I do believe that's where we are with Bitcoin, because um, the infrastructure itself is just not uh, um, there. You know, it's just not able with proof of work. It is just not able to really compete uh, as the technology increases and gets better. So, hey, if someone wants to use Bitcoin or people want to use Bitcoin as a, uh, a store of value, hey, more power to you. I know I wouldn't put my money in it because, to be honest with you, I don't think Bitcoin is going to be around, for, you know, who knows for how much longer, especially considering that it is so centralized as far as uh, the mining is concerned. You know, in China, I, I just I just don't think that is a good thing at all now. Did it provide something that we needed? Yes, it did. Did it provide a, uh, a, a kind of a, um, a better view of the way uh, banking and finance could, you know, could be for us? Yes, it did. And did it scare the um, establishment? Yes, it did. But now it's time that we move on to better technologies that can really achieve the goals that um, that are really out there that 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 are that have really been set forth. Um, it's just that Bitcoin is not, I don't believe, going to be able to do that even with Lightning Network. Okay, so enough enough about that. Um, if you get a chance, definitely check this uh, article out. I like I said, uh, he also kind of bashes gold as well. Uh, so you know, personally. Uh, fiat is definitely not the answer. I do know, I do believe that cryptocurrency is the answer. It's just definitely not going to be Bitcoin. All right. Moving on. Demand for XRP rises as community reacts to a series of good news from, from Ripple. And again, this is, you know, what I was saying earlier. Uh, we're kind of, um, uh, entering into kind of a euphoric stage here. And obviously with all the good news, hey, it cannot be refuted that positivity positivity that's entering into the market again or into this space is is definitely welcome but i do caution not to get you know too excited let's just let it play out and uh, see what happens here believe me as much as the next person i want i want xrp to moon i want the whole market to be honest with you i want the whole market to go uh go northward but I kind of feel as though that is not going to happen right now. But again, I don't know for sure about anything. No one does. So the best advice I have is let's just let it play out. OK. All right, guys. So that's all I had for you. I'm glad I was able to get through this uh, pretty quickly. So if you guys have any comments or any thoughts about what I've shared with you today, please put it in the comment section. Um, I will definitely get to it and read it and also respond uh, when I can. But again, I really appreciate all of you guys. And uh, I hope if you are new to the channel, you decide to go ahead and subscribe. That being said, guys, this has been Mr. Free Coiner. Take care of yourselves and God bless.